welcome back for uh, lecture 3 on visible light communication so in this we will discuss about single carrier modulation technique in uh, visible light communication so these are the various modulation techniques which we discussed in previous lecture and its limitations so now we will go to the single carrier modulation technique so in general the data transmission in optical wireless communication in coherent light uh, sources is obtained through intensity modulation and direct detection as we all know if you want to transmit the data with the help of intensity modulation and direct detection the signals must be real valued and non negative signals so which is achieved by two techniques we have single carrier modulation technique and multi carrier modulation technique in single carrier modulation techniques like uh, pam and ppm multi carrier modulation techniques called qam that is multiple qam and ofdm optical orthogonal uh, frequency division multiplexing so in single carrier modulation techniques as we uh, just give the some uh, i am trying to give some brief introduction about single carrier modulation technique so there is a fixed relation between average electrical power and the average optical power of single carrier as well as the multi carrier signals so which varies within uh, with the change in uh, setting up the bias that is a combination of direct current and the bias signal variance so single carrier modulation techniques are suitable for uh, transmission of optical wireless communication so the the information can be encoded in the duration of the pulse such as pulse width modulation as well as pulse interval modulation in addition the information can be encoded uh, in the position of the pulse just like ppm and we have another uh, modulation technique called pam which is used to encode in amplitude of the pulse uh, like uh, pam and so in this so this is setting up the bias so this is uh, the ppm so the bias is here minimum values and maximum values so here from uh, this is on off key when it is on the data is transmitted when it is off it is uh, the data is not transmitted but here instead of sending the positive as well as negative signals i am setting the bias to the maximum allowed uh, position so that the maximum values can be transmitted so this is the single carrier modulation technique in uh, optical wireless communication using ppm so this is the transmission as well as receiver side we have so from the transmitter the digital to analog conversion and the data is transmitted to optical channel and receiver type again analog to digital conversion so let us have the system model so in uh, ppm pulse position modulation log m base 2 input bits uh, form a time domain uh, symbol for this so in a sequence of m chips represented as a vector uh, uh, where one chip has a current level and remaining m minus one chips are set to zero that is only one chip is set to uh, uh, one remaining all are set to zero so 
so here the average electrical power of the ppm symbol and it is related to average electrical bit power and we have some relation between uh, the bit power electrical uh, bit power as well as the uh, average electrical power so which is equivalent to log m base 2 so the respective energy per symbol uh, which, which is represented as uh, e and energy per bit is represented as eb and obtained from the symbol rate rs and which is the fraction of the average power as well as bit power so m chips with duration uh, within a time frame t so in ppm the uh, uh, the bandwidth whatever the bandwidth we have within the time duration t and symbol rate r uh, which is represented by b by m that is where b is the bandwidth m is the uh, symbol rate and uh, the spectral efficiency of the modulation scheme is determined by number of bits that can be transmitted per symbol duration and per symbol bandwidth so the train of symbols is predistorted by the inverse of nonlinear uh, function of the led transmitter and it is scaled by the factor in order to fit within the front end optical constraints so next the signal is whatever the signal is passed through digital to analog converter to transform digital to analog converter and uh, to uh, transform the train of uh, digital tips into train of continuous time pulses the pulse shaping filter with a real valued impulse response to v of t we are presenting is applied to obtain <coughs> the band limited signals so in mppm because of the fact that the information carrying pulse as an optical power uh, which is uh, uh, we can call it as uh, uh, the power level greater than a minimum to normal uh, zero bias is required as a result the transmitted signal vector has a length of zx is equal to lm and it can be expressed as f of xl is equal to alpha into sl where alpha is the uh, range between minimum to maximum so the transmitter front end constraints that is uh, uh, it is uh, shape the pulse then we need to set the bias and any nonlinearity is there that nonlinearity is removed and uh, which will be transmitted to the receiver through the optical channel so in order to relate the average pow uh, power uh, average optical symbol power and to electrical symbol power the signal is subjected to uh, uh, or the o by e conversion uh, we have some relation so after passing to the optical wireless channel the signal is destroyed by awgn awgn which is represented by wl at the receiver to obtain the received signal called yl so after synchronization the signal is passed through the filter with an impulse response of v match it to the impulse response to the pulse shaping filter with the transmitter in order to maximize the received signal to noise ratio snr so at the analog to digital converter the signal is sampled at the frequency of m by t after equalization of the channel uh, there is equalizer after equalization of the channel effect by means of linear uh, FFE or nonlinear DFE with ZF or MMSE criteria, the, dis the uh, distorted replica of the transmitted uh, symbol tilde is obtained. The hard decision or soft decision decoder can be employed to obtain the received bits. So this is the working uh, principle. So depending on the type of application, 
we need to select the respective digital modulation technique. One application may need higher precision in receiving the data, whereas others require may be available power or the bandwidth. So the quality of service provided by wireless communication system can be greatly enhanced with the help of correct selection of modulation scheme. So it is very difficult to find uh, the corresponding modulation techniques, especially when, uh, for example, in, in the case of satellite uplink and downlink, it is very difficult to find the uh, respective modulation, suitable modulation technique. So in the modulation and demodulation systems, some of the techniques involve lesser complexities and room cost effective and remaining are some uh, more complexable uh, modulation techniques. The search for better modulation scheme does not uh, end here as in every field of communication, the lead role is taken for higher data rate communication. The PPM uses a single carrier modulation technique after setting the bias gives better result than the previous modulation techniques. Thank you.